Hello booktube, this is my March book haul part two. Um, I've been much more restrained in the second half of March. I've just got three um, audio books that I've bought and two physical books. So I'll just go straight in and tell you about the, the three audio books. Um, the first one maybe you wouldn't describe as an audio book. It's actually um, a BBC dramatisation, full cast dramatisations of six of Jane Austen uh, novels so I'm looking forward to that. It's got people like um, David Tennant and let me have a look Benedict Cumberbatch in the cast list so that sounds great so yeah just sort of like abridged you know full cast versions of six fantastic Jane Austen books so yeah I'm sure I'll, that'll be something I'll listen to over and over again so can't wait to get in that one. Um, the next audiobook I got is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and this is read by Richard Armitage, um, say no more. Um, he's, I think Richard Armitage is the guy that was in the BBC adaptation of North and South um, and I thought he was fantastic in that so I um, heard a little snippet of this book so it sounds great so again that one sounds good and complete contrast to that the other audiobook I've got is High Rise by J.G. Ballard and that's read by Tom Hiddleston who I think is in a film of it that's coming out soon um, but obviously um, if you're in the UK Tom Hiddleston has just been in um, the BBC drama The Night Manager and was absolutely fantastic in that um, so I just think yeah just anything listening to his voice for a little bit longer will be fantastic so they're the three audiobooks that I've got this month um, so in addition to that I've got two physical books for this second half of the month and the first one and this is due to watching booktubers like Mercedes and Eleanor and who else? Samantha from Novels and Nonsense have got me. Um, it's time to dive into the Robin Hob. So this is the first one um, of all the numerous trilogies and series that she does. And this is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hob. And um, I'm going to be taking part in genre a little bit later on in April. A video will be coming up of uh, what I plan to read. And not reading or familiar with much fantasy so I thought it'd be a good place to start and obviously as everybody recommends Robin Hobb I thought it would be a great uh, fantasy reader for me to, to start with um so yeah so this is a, a beautiful cover um it's got a picture of a stag on the front um not like um I got confused with my latest Harry Potter book that I read thinking that it was a unicorn but it actually was a stag that was white so yes this definitely is a stag and it's got beautiful gold lettering on it um, so yeah, so this isn't too thick actually. I think some of the other um, books in Robin Hobb series are real door stoppers. So I don't know too much about this series or these characters or this world. So I'm quite happy to just go in on trust, um, you know, from booktubers whose opinions I value and respect and always seem to recommend books that I enjoy. So I'm going to go with that one. And the final um, book that I got, and this is completely um, due to Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books channel. I'll link her down below. Um, and that is The Honours by Tim Clare. Um, I did actually have this on my wish list for a while, but having watched Eleanor's review of it, that's just tipped me over the edge and I had to just buy it straight away. This cover is fantastic. This is um, actually like a little jacket around the book that comes off and then if you can see on the flap it's like a little map so um if you're a true book nerd you'll know the importance and the joy of finding a map in a book because it just makes the whole experience better but if you take off this little green wrap around this beautiful cover underneath with this beautiful artwork is underneath so and then on the back it looks like this so that's a stunning book and again I don't know much about this um, so I'll just read to you what it says on the back and I'm not entirely sure having listened to um, Eleanor's review of it that it fits in any particular category of genre I think it seems to you you think you're gonna you're going down one path and it's completely down another but she absolutely loved it and it sounds fabulous so I'm I'm gonna be diving into this one quickly I think um, and it says 1935 Norfolk, so pre-war, that's great for me. And it says, war is looming in Great Britain and the sprawling country estate of Al 
Debran Hall is shadowed by suspicion and paranoia. So we've got pre-war Britain, we've got a sounding stately home, a bit of paranoia and suspicion, I'm in already, but oh no, it carries on. Its newest resident, Miss Delphine Venner, is determined to uncover the secrets of the Hall's elite society, which has taken in her gullible mother and unstable father. Gets better and better. As she explores the house and discovers a secret network of hidden passages that thread through the estate, Delphine uncovers a world more dark and threatening than she ever could have imagined. With the help of head game thief, gamekeeper Mr Garforth, Delphine must learn the bloody lesson of war and find the soldier within herself to battle the deadly forces amassing in the woods. So I think you just got a bit of everything in there. So it just sounds fantastic. So, so I'm keen to get on with that one. So it's the end of March. So that's it now. I will not be buying any more books this month. My husband will be glad to know. But it's April tomorrow so it can all start again. Um, so let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think of them and I will see you all soon. Bye!